out on this thing. I'm excited to bring it to the, the Eddie ceremony. You know, that's like the time when everyone has all their like new equipment right, and new what's equipment, the latest. And everybody's checking it out. Huh? Last year was actually really interesting just because the equipment evolved so much and just everyone's kind of doing yeah. their little adjustments here and there and uh, just to see what was out there. One of the best feelings is to communicate with, you know, whether it's Danny or, you know, whoever, just the everyday surfer is being able to connect with them in the shaping room and talk about you know how they want to surf and how what's good about their boards measuring their boards and, it, and it's unreal because it, it pushes his awareness of what he's riding and it pushes my shaping not gonna be riding this one today but this one's like kind of a my like go-to six one fuller quad that we've been like working on for years uh, I'd say about 90% of my boards are quads. All my short boards are, you know, primarily like thrusters, but then, you know, some fun shapes or hybrids, I'll go with a four fin. And um, this is like a really just good kind of, if you go to any place like say like Tahiti or Indonesia where you're gonna find yourself in some nice like powerful barreling waves, this will definitely get you from point A to B. It's something that I think actually happens with just about every surfer or definitely with pro surfers. It's something you're so mentally fixed on thrusters and you know maybe in critical gnarly situations that knowing how that board's going to perform for you and actually uh, Nathan Fletcher was the one who like pushed me to we were in Australia and he made me try one of his little stretch boards is when everyone was looking at four fins like is that a cartoon is that like a joke or what is that you know what I mean that made me actually the following winter I ordered about like maybe four say if I had like 12 pipe guns I'd maybe got like four and then slowly started to kind of like get more and more every year and then now it's actually like all of my like 20 pipe boards that I have in Hawaii, they're all four fins. Every board over like six, six, six and up is four fins. And you know, I've seen it a lot with a lot of guys, especially now people are really, you know, if you go to Hawaii, you'll see most guys have a quad option. This is uh, the Ewok model that we worked on that was inspired by this uh, Campbell Brothers Octofish Bonzer. And uh, I really liked that board a lot. And I was asking him be like, what if we made this like a, a five plug option where you ride as a thruster or a quad or something. Yeah. and. Uh, and, then, and it was in the middle of the summer as well, and it actually saved my summer, really. It has that volume in it, and yeah. it's really good for like carrying through the flat spots. Usually wings go down to the bottom of the rail line. This one comes up to the deck of the rail line. And when you have it on rail, this actually acts as a rocker. And so you come up into the face of the wave a lot easier. And see, you know, four fins want to draw straight, and this really breaks that line up. Thank you, HB. Thank you, HB. <laughs> It's been a pleasure. I definitely do whatever I can to, to not find myself down here doing this.